came downtown gonna do some architecture photography today see how that goes got the infrared camera out downtown seattle uh try and find some of the good glass buildings we're gonna head to the library because that's a good one it's pretty much all glass because the infrared reflects really well off that as long as you find something i'll get set up a lot of handheld stuff today uh, maybe wander into the library you can't use a tripod in there so everything has to be handheld that way so we'll just see how it goes and see what we can come up with we're getting more of the glass buildings let's see if i turn it around up there you got the washington state convention center so we're just going to keep heading that way hopefully find the library soon uh, maybe hit that now there's a bunch of glass up there that may work but the lights are green this way so this is where we're going when you get there just took a few shots of that one up there all the glass hoping to get the clouds to break up a little bit soon to get more of a black sky just gonna keep heading this way my library is somewhere up in there so you can see i think now this way of getting more sun on the glass so i think it may take another one see how it looks so we made it to the uh, seattle library you can see it's just all glass some structure in it uh, so I've got the infrared. I was hoping the sun would be on it. Uh, it will be in a little, maybe an hour or so. So just kind of stick around here. Maybe try and get inside. Try and find a good staircase in there. Do some focus stacking on those. Other than that, keep hanging out here. Find some good compositions. And there's also a few more in front of us too. Uh, sun's on those ones on the other side, so we may wander that way. But for now, we're just going to see what I can get right here. Will they come up with something good? So, the light thing's not really working out. But the Columbia Tower here, I'm going to shoot a few of those. I know the light's definitely on the other side because it's the tallest building in Seattle. Uh, doing some construction work and bringing this big ladder thingy down, whatever that is. So, I'm going to stay here, wander around the Columbia Tower, see what I can find for compositions, get some good light because I'm using the infrared camera today. So it seems to be kind of the best for architecture, at least I think it is. So that's what I'm getting, and keep wandering around and see what we can find. So I found some light shining around this old tree and then up to the top of the Columbia Tower. So I've got this at the very base of the photo. I'm using my 40 millimeter prime lens, so I can't really get a wide range of a photo. So I'm just kind of focusing on more smaller photos, uh, whatever more smaller means. So, we're going to keep wandering around. Hopefully the light's finally popping through, you can see. Thank God, because I need light for infrared. So we're just going to keep wandering around, find some glass buildings. Maybe head back to the library here pretty soon. See if the light's on it, but probably not. Larger buildings keep blocking the light. But, that's okay. Just keep going, see what we can find. So I found some light. Sun shining through. Finally. See up there, top of the Columbia Tower. So I'm going to shoot that with the infrared. Unfortunately, there's kind of a hazy cloud up there. It kind of kills off the sky. Because the bright blue sky makes for a good either black and white or super dark blue for the false color. But that's all right. At least the sun's finally coming through. And this is what I'm going to shoot. So we found the King County Administration Building. And it's more of just a design. Uh, just lines and glass. It looks pretty cool. So I took a few of those photos. See how they turn out when we get home. Uh, we're thinking trying to use the walkway because it connects the jail across the street to it. But it just doesn't really work out that well. So we're just doing with the lines and the patterns. And I'm not really sure where we're going to go from here. But that's all right. We're just downtown hanging out. Chilling out. Now, Dina's got the camera, trying her <laughs> her photography skills. So hopefully, hopefully some of these will turn out. I don't see why they wouldn't, but you just never know until you get home and try it. So now the problem we're running into is the white clouds are rolling in. And it's kind of killing the sky. With infrared, you really want the bright blue sky with a few clouds here and there just kind of break up the blue but you know white just doesn't really do it for me so as you can see just 
the white's filling in, which is just it's killing everything. But we're just gonna keep wandering towards the water now, so we can find. There's no really no point going back to the the library since the sun's going away. So we're just gonna keep wandering west, and then back north, and then somewhere else, and then you never know where we're gonna end up today. Market. Here it is. Lots of people, crazy busy, but quite a sight to be seen. Where they throw the fish, lots of fresh fruits and vegetables. So now the, walking through here, uh, kind of done taking out our foils for a bit. Let's see what we can find. So I just took a photo of that building in infrared. Not really sure how it's going to turn out, but that's the whole point of infrared. But it's green and purples and yellows and blues and all kinds of colors. So we're heading back to the car now, getting close. So I think I'll maybe take another one from this angle, see what I can come up with. So that's it for today's shooting. Just heading back to the car. So if you like the channel, feel free to subscribe. And here are some of the photos from today. Mm -hmm.